Most things can be broken down into constituent parts. Big things are made up of smaller things. A soccer team is made up of individual players. An orchestra is made up of individual musicians. A dining set is made up of tables and chairs. And all of these are made up of atoms. This is pretty straightforward, but a common error of thinking is to make the fallacy of division. When we try and claim that the properties of the whole must be shared by the things that make it up. If I say I have a wooden dining set, it's reasonable to assume that the chairs and table that make up that set are also made of wood. Fair enough. But the best soccer team does not have to have the best individual players. The best orchestra does not have to have the best violin or trumpet player. A graduate of one of the top universities in the world is not necessarily one of the best graduates in the world. A sauce that contains anchovies might seem very tasty to someone who doesn't like anchovies. This also works the other way. What is true of the individual components need not be true of the whole. The world's best soccer players may not together make the best team. The tastiest ingredients may not make the tastiest meal, and so on. To miss this point is to make the fallacy of composition. The fallacies of division and composition occur when we assume that the whole and its components must share the same properties. We are going to use this notion in the discussion of personal identity coming up soon.